Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janus, creator of Fenner Attack Dad. Today we're going to be talking about this phone right here. This is the Redmi 10X Pro 5G. Actually, I've already unboxed this, but I'm still going to be showing you a quick unboxing video so you guys will have an idea what comes inside of its box. By the way, this is a China version, no global version for this yet. And the version that I have right here is right here. This is an 8 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte memory capacity version and it's in the color pink slash blue which is weird and as you can see it has a glossy finish right on the back and it's a huge fingerprint magnet as you can see here it's quite glossy just a small line of fingerprint right there it smudges so if you're like me you're most likely gonna do this a lot you're gonna wipe it off a lot anyway let's go ahead and check out the unboxing All right, so that was our quick unboxing for the Redmi 10X Pro. So first off, let's talk about its design. So looking at its back panel, you'll see that it kind of looks like the Redmi Note 9S, but they're actually not the same size. The only similarity that they have is actually the orientation of the camera, which is like a rectangular shape. But overall, you can see that its camera looks a lot bigger than the Redmi Note 9S. At the bottom, we have a headphone jack, a USB Type-C port, a microphone, and a down-firing speaker. On the right side, you have the power button, which is color red, same as the Redmi K30 series, and you have the volume rocker right here. And on the left side, we actually have the SIM card tray and the expandable memory card slot. And at the top, we have a noise-canceling microphone right there, and the infrared blaster. So again, I think all of the phones that I reviewed from Xiaomi this year all have infrared blasters. So thumbs up for Xiaomi for doing this. And then at the back, we have a quad camera setup. This is highlighted by a 48 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens, and as well as an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 5 megapixel macro lens. And we also have the Redmi branding right at the bottom part. It does come with Corning Gorilla Glass back panel as well as the front it doesn't have antenna bands all over its body so i'm guessing this is plastic i'm not really sure on that guys it's not stated on the spec sheet on this but i'll try to find out in my full review and i'll include that detail as well so specs wise this is equipped with a mediatek dimensity 820 processor and it performs really well as i'll show you its antutu benchmark which hits around 400,000 antutu benchmark points that's actually quite impressive this is just mid-range level but it's way better than the snapdragon 765g using it for facebook it looks good the experience is very smooth as you can see here on my facebook feed you can see a lot of my male friends are now turning into women so this is kind of like the trend right now on Facebook. Well, here in the Philippines, browsing through social media, using this for internet searching, for YouTube. It's what you'll expect from a high performance chipset. So the screen size is actually 6.57 inches, which is just a little bit smaller than your flagship level uh, screen size or the screen size of the Redmi Note 9 S series, which is around 6.67 inch. So this is a little bit shorter than the Redmi Note 9 series. And what's really good about this is it comes with a full HD AMOLED display. So everything you can expect about the AMOLED display, it's right here. So as you can see here, it has a great looking display. It's an AMOLED screen, full HD resolution. And we'll look at the colors on that. They're punchy, they're vibrant, and the images look sharp. So I really like it so far. I mean, there's nothing to complain about this display. So it has a water drop notch right here, but it's not quite intrusive because I've gotten used to the Mi 9, which also had the same thing. Kind of has a thick chin right there. But I guess this is good for when you're playing because your hand won't be blocking the screen when you're gaming. So you have the extra space, you have the extra buffer there. Oh, by the way, this also has HDR 10 plus. So let's go and search for HDR content. As you can see there, it's 1080p 60 HDR resolution. And if you can see that the images look overblown here, and that's actually just because of my camera settings, but to my naked eye, they look perfect. 
they're not overblown they're not overexposed unfortunately it doesn't have dcip3 settings like on the mi 10 pro the mi 10 and the redmi k30 pro and the poco f2 pro series so you only have three adjustments which is standard saturated and auto moving on let's go ahead and talk about its camera well it actually has a very capable camera it has a 48 megapixel main camera instead of me talking i'll just show you so please enjoy whatever samples that i have right now All right, so those are my camera samples for the 10X Pro. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I'll reserve my judgment for when I make the full review. Next, let's talk about the gaming. So I've only been able to play two games so far in this. I only have Mobile Legends and Call of Duty. These two games actually aren't optimized. As you can see here, I'll show you in the graphic settings. So with Mobile Legends, you only have high quality graphic settings. You don't have ultra settings yet, but it does have high frame rate mode. And then as for Call of Duty, you only get medium graphical settings with high frame rates so this issue is more of an optimization thing as the mediatek dimensity 820 chipset is kind of new so give the developers some time because i'm sure future updates on these games that i mentioned will have high graphical settings or ultra settings for graphics for mobile legends and very high graphical settings for call of duty and then i'll be testing PUBG, honkai impact black desert online as well and if you have any other gaming requests i'll try to squeeze that in and so far i've had no heating issues on this but i'll be gaming more on this so you guys will have an idea of how this performs in terms of prolonged gaming and special features you get game turbo of course that's a standard for Xiaomi phones these days. And then you also have second space, which is what I've been calling thought protection or THOT. Actually guys, go ahead and Google THOT. It's not an actual feature of any Xiaomi phone. It's actually just called second space. And you also have kid space right here, which means second space is really for thought protection right i'm just messing with you guys please don't take seriously my thought protection comments and lastly let's talk about a few other specs on this well it has a 4520 milliamp hour battery capacity and it can fast charge up to 33 watts which means you can roughly get up to 58% in 30 minutes which also means that you can get a full charge on this for a little bit over an hour all right so that's gonna be it for my initial impressions on the redmi 10x pro so if you have more questions about this phone let me know in the comment section i'll try to address them in my full review by the way if you want more content about the redmi 10x pro make sure you subscribe to the gadget gang sula tech reviews and gadget psychic actually gadget psychic already has a video released on this and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future that's it for today guys keep safe and have a great day